Hi, this is Pam Sherritt from Ohio State. Going to talk a little bit today about the heat and the drought. We've had some rain, but we are still in a heat and drought stress period. We've had temperatures up around 100. Um, the most critical thing is our soil temperatures have been in the low 80s, which is uh, very bad for our cool season grasses. They prefer soil temperatures between 50 and 65. So we've had very high soil temperatures in the low 80s. And then equally important, we've had very high nighttime temperatures, uh, 75 and above. And what that means is that the, the grasses continue to respire. Uh, they have very high respiration rates at night and they don't really get time to rest and recuperate from the, the stress of the day. So we've had very stressed cool season grasses uh, um, and obviously we've lost probably about 50% of our root mass on these cool season grasses with the high soil temperatures. So what can you do? Well, there's a few things you can do. Uh, first of all, you, if you can, keep people off. If you can keep traffic off the turf at this point, that would be helpful. Avoid any stressful practices like verticutting, uh, scarifying, core aeration, anything that's going to stress the grass. Uh, try, and, try and alleviate those. Mowing. Um, you may have to mow to take the weeds out. If you've got weeds in your yard or on sports fields or on your golf course that are um, higher than the grass and looking very unsightly you may want to run a mower over just to take those out but again if you can if you can um, minimize mowing that's also a stress at this time some of the things for recuperation if at all possible try and get some water on the turf if that the base of the crown the base of the plant is called the crown it's the growing point if you can keep that crown hydrated uh, the grass will recuperate and will uh, grow again once environmental conditions are more favorable keep the crown hydrated try and get some water on uh, we're losing about an inch of water a week from the turf system right now if you could put one inch of water back on the turf a week that would be ideal if not just put out what you can um, the other thing is fertilizer we've had a lot of questions about whether you should whether we should fertilize right now well, we've got a lot of dollar spot disease out there and rust and some other low nitrogen diseases. And we've obviously got a lot of drought stressed and, and grass that's not growing. So if you want to try and encourage some recovery and some growth, a 50% slow release or, or greater, uh, put it out in the cool part of the day. The fertilizer will help once, our, once we do get some rain, that will help on the recovery process. And then finally, I guess if there's one silver lining to all this, it's that our weed grasses like Poa trivialis and Poa annua um, have been selectively and culturally removed from a lot of our turf areas because they have not been able to survive in the heat and the drought stress. So I know a lot of golf course superintendents and field managers have seen that um, those, those problem areas where they had a lot of Poa, um, they've been selectively removed.